Pronto. Então agora vai ser gravado. Se não está sendo transmitido, é, eu posto mais tarde. Ok. So, he's in a commercial neighborhood, right? A commercial area. Because as you, as you are using commercial, commercial is an adjective. So, you need to compl complement with a noun, all right? Okay. And uh, what can you see here? He's, he's, he's running. I'm sorry. All right. He's running and have many people crossing please this rephrase street. that have many people have is possession right yeah how can you talk about that in a different way there is there you are there are yes plural right so repeat please there are many people crossing the street yes and it seems to be a very calm place right there are not many cars driving around um what do you call a part of the city where people go just to hang out? Uh, shopping? A mall. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have money, you go to the shopping mall to hang out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in cities, open places are called squares. Okay. Right? So you can call this a square. There's something interesting happening here have a man have. playing with guitar acoustic guitar yeah an acoustic guitar but have a man there is <laughs> yes very good there is a man playing acoustic guitar and a woman taking a picture or a video yeah it's better to say recording a video there is a woman Sorry. recording a video right yeah. Is it common to see this in your city? No. The people are very shame, shamed. Ashamed. They are very shy. Shy, okay. Yeah. Has, have, there are many people who, uh, talking about the others and <laughs> they are very shy. shy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking about others, there is a specific word for that when you talk about other people's lives. Do you know this word? In English, no. Gossip. Oh, Right. okay. There's a TV okay. show called Gossip, it's an old Gossip show called Girl. Gossip Girl. Yeah. Gossip is when you talk about other people's lives. Okay, this guy is not very popular. There are only two people watching him, so. Let's continue here. What is you what are is you running see? again? Yeah. And there is a man with a a red shirt, t-shirt. What else? And he's bald. Yeah, he's bald. He's bald. And what is he doing? Uh, I I guess he's waiting to cross the street. Yeah. He's waiting for the, the red light so he can cross the street and that's what, what he's doing now, right? Crossing, yeah. Uh, can you describe this thing that we see here? I don't know how I say. <laughs> there is, this is a line of cars. Oh, okay. A line of cars. What is a line? A uh, line. <laughs> yeah, but... E when we are talking about the city and we use the word line, what does it really mean? Um, I don't know. Look, it's it can be called just line or waiting line. Is when people, cars are forming a line. It doesn't need to be a line on the floor or anything like that. But just when people are waiting, standing, or in either standing or in cars, it's called a line, right? Uh, okay. Lines are some of my biggest problems in, in my life because everywhere I go, there are huge lines. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you, but after you have a house or an apartment and you need to pay the bills, it's better to do everything online. 
Yeah, I do everything on my smartphone, right? So, let's continue here. What do you see these people doing? They... They are talking. Are, are they talking? She's talking on the phone, and he... Uh, I don't know. She's talking in the phone? On the phone? On the phone, <laughs> yes. For communication, we use on, right? She's talking on the phone, and he is checking what? women's clothes. It's kind of weird, right? It's not so common much. for an old man to be staring at a dress. I don't know, <coughs> maybe he has a trauma or something. All right. What kind of place is this here? Repeat, please, I don't... What kind of place is this here? This is not the street. No, it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this, uh, this here is called an alley. Alley. Alley is... I need to open notepad here. Just a second. Alley. Oh. Right? There is a TV show called Downtown... Ah, no, that's not Ellie. Downtown Abbey. It's it's different. It's different. So, he is in an alley. Right? He's in an alley. Uh, how do you say he is in Portuguese? How can you say what? Ellie in Portuguese. I will not say it in Portuguese. I will explain in other words in English, okay? Okay. Ellie is normally a place like a street it's a path between houses between buildings oh right okay uh, okay we have different words for different kinds of alleys they are not technically alleys for example in a house you can have a corridor corridor is in yeah. a house it's not called an alley sometimes in a building this place is called a hall but between buildings between houses is called alley alley right? okay so there are different and in an airplane, it's called ale. It's it's different or aisle. Okay. Uh, is this a residential area of the city? I I think no. It's very. I think it's for work. Okay. Very buildings. What kind so of many... building is that? Repeat. What kind of building is that? I don't know. If that's not a residential building, it is a... What can you call it? I don't know. You can call it an office building or commercial building, right? Another way to call it is business building. Okay. It can also be called a business building. Uh, let me just change resolution here. Are there many business buildings in your city? No. Why not? Here is very, 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 very small. The okay. people uh, work in other cities and here has the basic. Has uh, the basic? Uh, there is... I don't know. Yes, that's right. They are the basic uh, like stores and supermarkets and just this okay so what do you do with your friends if you want to enjoy your free time i i stay at home and play games on the in the phone on the phone in the phone do you go in, into the phone do you do do you enter the phone i, I really forgot this Every time. <laughs> <laughs> On the phone. On the phone, okay. Yeah. I don't like mobile games very much. Do you? I, I, I like so much. I, I was playing uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Duty. Duty, okay. What is duty? Everybody plays this game, but normally people don't know what duty means. No. <laughs> duty is like responsibility is a mission 
Call of Duty is because I am having my life, I have my life, my normal life, and then Brazil goes into a war. So duty calls me and I need to defend my country. My responsibility calls me, right? So that's what the game is called. Call of Duty. Call to war. Basically, it's this. I normally don't play um, mobile games because I don't like the commands, you know, the controls. And also, not like Call of Duty, but other games. They are endless. There's no goal. There's no objective, right? It's like you play... My boyfriend says the same thing. Uh, he hates who? so much. I Yesterday, I called him to play with me. And he said, no, I will play PlayStation. He was... <laughs> no, but who are you talking about? My boyfriend. Oh, okay, okay. So he doesn't like mobile games, he prefers consoles. Yeah. Yeah, me too, me too. But I don't know why, I don't know why. My son, Nicholas, plays. Uh, we have a PlayStation 3 here. But he plays, I say, Nicholas, it's time to stop. He stops. That's not a problem. But when he gets the smartphone here to play, and I say, Nicholas, it's time to stop. No! The drama starts. What? What is there in a smartphone that attracts people so much? How old? How old are him? Four. How old is him? It's oh, him. Oh, sorry. Is he? Is he? Okay. Yeah. Four. My sister is a. Is a call. Uh, you can say my sister is like him. It's like him. Okay, but she is watching TV now and no more phones because she is using glasses and the I don't know how to say doctor of the eyes the eye doctor the... yeah <laughs> the, the eye doctor say thing. she can't do this really in the phone or tablet 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 yeah but why because she have she have he she it I have, you have, she? Has. Yes. She has a big problem. <laughs> okay. What's the problem? Myopia. <laughs> Myopia. Myopia. 3.5. Wow, it's a lot. And how old is she? Four. Four. Really? It's a lot. I know, uh, I know someone that had myopia like that and naturally it disappeared it went away but it's not common the doctor said it it's not common it's one in i don't know five thousand or or more but it happened uh will she go under surgery or anything no 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 not now <laughs> i had a uh, long time ago i had a girlfriend that she needed five and five point five so I remember <laughs> I remember one day I was at the beach with her and it was very funny because uh, I when I got out of the water and then I was coming back and I was coming closer and she was like getting away getting away getting away and then when I was like two meters away from her uh, she was like Oh, that's you. And she, she couldn't see anything. When she was in, in the water, she could only be sure, totally sure, it was me when I was like three feet away from her or something like that. Yeah, really bad. Really bad. My sister-in-law, my brother's brief girlfriend, <laughs> Okay. she has a big, big problem in the eye. I think she can't see anything without the glasses. Anything. Yeah, I had a I had a friend in school. She uh, he he had nine and eight. So he was basically 
he, he it's what blind in English technically blind right uh, uh, not really blind but technically for driving or anything he was considered blind he needed to go undergo a surgery and he corrected his his sight let's go back here so uh, this is a commercial place in the city I will do something different here totally like real life right you type a code a helicopter ap appears in front of you and you can fly <laughs> every okay. time yeah of course I have five here in my house okay so what I want you to do is for you to tell me the things that you can see here in the city okay okay so for example uh, that part of the city ahead of the helicopter where can you see, what can you see there many buildings and uh, trees trees okay and streets yeah there are streets but this kind of street here receives a different name what do you call this kind of street here this kind of way here under the helicopter because this is not a common street I don't know. This is the highway. It's possible to call it highway or in, in some places they call it freeway. Why is it highway or freeway? High because it's high speed and freeway because there is no traffic light. There is nothing interrupting the traffic. They were created for Americans to escape if an atomic bomb was thrown onto the United States. They were afraid the Soviets would throw atomic bombs there and then they created this system so people could drive away very fast to escape radiation and things like that. Uh, below the helicopter, there's something different there. That's not really a building. What is that? It's very not me. Ah, is, is it small? Okay, let's go closer. Let's get closer. What is it here? I don't know. I can't. This is a building under construction. Oh, okay. Right? We use the preposition under. This is a building under construction. Let's go to a different part of the city because we are... Uh, we were downtown, right? We were at the commercial center of the city, but I think this place here is a little bit different. Do you still there see are buildings? more houses? Okay. Are they really houses? No. It's like... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're like apartments. Okay. Right? Apartment buildings. Yeah. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? A house. Normally small towns don't have apartments, right? They, they normally have have but has has okay so if you want to use have you need to use a subject my city has or okay. if you don't want to use it you can say there are apartments okay there are apartments but uh, I think uh, has like houses has like houses and apartments the both of us of you, them of the uh, both of them yeah uh, this part of have there is there are is very complicated for Brazilians there is a very simple solution for this Brazilians are very Brazilians don't have a sense of community, right? Brazilians don't live together. They are each other's enemies, like that. Like, as we say here, raça desunida, right? <laughs> uh, so, when people speak English, they normally say, we have, when they are talking about their own cities. For example, if I talk about Natal, I'm going to say, we have beaches here. We have. We have malls, we have supermarkets. If I'm talking about your city, 
I say you have many houses because I'm talking about the population in your city, people in your city, you have. If I talk about uh, Belo Horizonte, I'm going to say they have because it's not we, it's not you, it's not it's other people. So they have uh, houses. They don't have beaches there, right? So okay. you don't need to use there is, there are all the time. If you want to use have, you can, but you need to use a subject. My okay. city has, we have. <coughs> Two options is acceptable. Um, so do you think about, you said that your family is going to move to another city, right? Yeah. Uh, after you go to that city, of course, it's plans for the future. Do you have plans or do you dream about going to another country, either to visit or to live for some time? It's a very difficult thing for me because I, I was studying to the exchange. exchange? Uh, you were studying at, a, at an exchange school or what? Interchange no, school? For, in the PGM. Yeah, I don't know that. Uh, it's a, uh, I say, programa how, programa ganha mundo. Uh, okay. Uh, the schools make courses uh, of English and Spanish, Spanish. Spanish, yeah. For the. <laughs> how I say alumnos? Students. <laughs> for students go uh, for other country we two, made a test and two many... other countries yeah I am very 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 sad because I I got the cancer and I can't go I you can't now or in the past in the past couldn't couldn't okay. I couldn't go. And I couldn't go. But can and... you continue now or in some months? Repeat. Can't you go back to the school in the future? Yeah, I think the next year I will go. Okay, okay. And uh, so it's a school where you start studying here and then you have the opportunity to go to another country for some time, right? Yeah, six months. Okay, okay. I always tell people be careful when you go to when you spend money uh, investing on English in other countries because if you go there and you don't have English, it's a terrible experience. But if you already speak like you, like you do now, it's a very good experience. Because for beginners, it's gonna be like the first three weeks, it's gonna be crying and crying and crying. I can't understand anything. I have a friend who, who went to another country and felt exactly this. The first three weeks, he literally cried a lot because he thought he would learn very fast and no, for beginners it's hard. But if you already can communicate, you can talk to the teachers, you can talk to people on the street, that's a very good opportunity, right? So this is something I tell my students. If you are a beginner, keep your money in your... Huh? Wait. Yeah, wait some time. Keep your money in your pocket and then you can go in the future. Okay, we are going to finish here, right? Okay. Uh, me diga uma coisa. Eu gostaria que você dissesse num exercício como esse. Claro que a gente não fica 100% do tempo no jogo. A gente usa o jogo para começar os assuntos e falar. E de, do jogo a gente puxa outros assuntos. Qual é a maior vantagem que você acha para um exercício como esse? Qual é a sua maior dificuldade nesse exercício? Assim, eu acho que a maior vantagem é que a pessoa não tá, tipo, sem, é, sendo ensinado, por exemplo, como na escola, que é uma coisa assim, você vai ter que aprender aquilo e só aquilo. A pessoa vai expandindo, porque eu não vou entendendo algumas coisas, você vai me dando outras opções de palavras ou de como eu posso falar. E a maior dificuldade para mim, não é, tipo, não é entender, não é escrever, é formular as frases certas, né, para poder te responder. A gente treina muito em papel. 
a vida inteira, né? Treina muito em papel. Agora, treinar assim para improvisar é mais. É menos tempo Mas que a gente eu deve. Sempre, eu sempre gostei mais de, tipo, não estudar no papel. Porque, é. assim, na escola, nas escolas que eu estudei, não tinha inglês. Eu comecei a estudar inglês no sexto ano, só que era, tipo, as frutas, as cores, os números. <risos> que era. O que é que eu vou fazer com fruta, cor e número, né? Eu é não... um pouco difícil. Sei lá, eu quero uma melancia verde, não tem, não vai adiantar de nada, né? <risos> Esse Daí é um eu... ótimo exemplo. Eu comecei a assistir, tipo, séries em inglês. Eu assisti How I Met Your Mother. É, é? Umas três vezes. Eu assisti uma vez é, em inglês com legenda em português. Outra vez em inglês com legenda em inglês. E outra vez eu achei só em inglês. E eram poucas coisas que, tipo, eu não entendia, sabe? E eu ficava, tipo, meu Deus, o que é isso? Aí eu voltava, voltava até eu entender. E foi assim que eu fui expandindo um pouco mais meu vocabulário, sabe? Uma pessoa é praticar, assim, com a série do tamanho de How I Met Your Mother. Assistir três vezes... Sabe como é que se chama isso? Vagabond. Vagabond. Não, não tô brincando. Eu, eu estudava foi... de manhã e de tarde. Aí de noite eu fazia as coisas do colégio e ia assistir, né? Quando eu tinha tempo livre. Mas eu também devo ter passado o quê? Do sexto ano até o primeiro ano assistindo. Só a Real Mind Mother. Eu não assistia mais nada. Só a Real Mind Mother. Eu fiz isso também. Eu fiz isso. Eu fiz isso com Lost. Depois fiz isso com Prison Break. Eu fiz isso com algumas séries. How I Met Your Mother eu já assisti quando eu já falava inglês fluentemente, então eu não precisei estudar. Mas mesmo sem estudar, eu já assisti várias vezes também. E, é, e era um pouco difícil porque eles têm muita piada em inglês e eu ficava assim. É. Não é bom assistir série de comédia não, assim pra pessoa comédia estudar, não. é complicado. Comédia pelo menos tem um termômetro, tem um, tem um medidor. Quando você ri, é porque provavelmente você entendeu. Quando você não ri de nada... Ou é porque não tem graça, ou é porque você não está entendendo nada. Tem muita gente que diz, ah, comédia americana, comédia britânica não tem graça. Na verdade, é porque quando se traduz para o português, se perde metade das piadas, principalmente jogo de palavras. E quem é fala tipo inglês... Mesmo, né? daqui, se a pessoa for traduzir para o inglês, aí os, os gringos vão ficar tipo... Como é que você vai entender? O que é isso? Qual é a graça disso? É, exatamente. Pronto, então a gente fica por aqui... A gente vai continuar praticando dessa forma, certo? Em outra oportunidade. Agradeço a você por aceitar o desafio, até porque aceitar o desafio para ser vista por outras pessoas é, é para algumas pessoas barra pesada, mas você tira de letra, eu percebi. Deixa eu ver aqui se tem alguma pergunta interessante. Gostei bastante, entendi 95% da conversa, mas, mas falar e escrever sou uma negação. Legal, mas uma criança primeiro aprende a falar e escrever só de... Não, falar e escrever não. A falar e a entender só depois é que a criança aprender a escrever. Então você está no caminho certo. A maioria das pessoas dá, tá dando um joinha aqui, tá acenando. Deixa eu ver. Foi. Comentário foi, foi esse. A maioria das pessoas só tem uma mão para fazer assim. Então, obrigado pela participação. A gente se vê no próximo, certo? And for you that is watching the video, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.